What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Trading to Glory. If you are new to the channel, my name is Elite and I do a lot of trading tips, squad building challenge guides, and the Trading to Glory series you're watching right now here on FIFA 19. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, this will help you out a lot. But before we get started, I'm just going to go ahead and update you guys on everything that has sold since the last episode. I sold all these cards from our Sunday bidding and everything. That was a few days ago. And I haven't done much on the market in probably Monday, Tuesday. I really didn't do too much, just a little bit of trading. Uh, with silvers and stuff that you guys saw in one of the last episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the sold items and start it off fresh. In this episode, we're going to have a little bit of icon trading. We're going to be talking about a new trading method that hopefully is going to work out well. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it'll work really well. I'm going to start with the icon trading. So let's hop into it. So for the icon trading, I've got a list of icons that are around my price range of 1.2 million coins. And I'd suggest you go to Footfin, just get a list of icons within a couple hundred K of your price range so I've got icons range from 1 million to 1.35 million coins and I actually put them in a Google Doc as well I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I organize this now obviously I can just use Footbin, but here I have it all the time you know I can just go to Google Docs it's a lot easier than you know setting the filters every time on uh, Footbin. but right here is 1 million and so everything above that is above 1 million the higher up they are the closer they are to 1.1 million and that's what they're normally at and then i can adjust them if their uh, price ever changes in my opinion for what their average is and i think that they will change a lot over the weekend for the stream promotion but we have all these icons up to 1.2 mil all these icons up to 1.3 mil and then up to about 1.35 million coins with matthias being the most expensive out of all of these so how do I use this list to trade? Well, now that I know what their average price is, I know how many coins I would need to spend to make profit after 5% tax. Because if I bought something for 1 million coins, if you do the math, that's 50,000 coin tax. So if I bought something for 900K and sold it for a million coins, we make 50K profit. Then for like 1.2 million coins, it's going to be about you know 60 K tax about that, you know, and you can just do the math in your head or if uh, if that's tough for you guys, because all I do is I just take 95% of the uh, of the the card and that's how much profit I make. But you can just use your calculator. All you do is for 1.3 million, you type in the number and then times it by 0.95. And so if I were to buy something for 1.2 million and sell it for 1.3, I'd make 35K profit because five per, uh, 95% of 1.3 mil is 1,235,000. So that's how you kind of do the math in your head for the prices. And I think getting that down is uh, important when you're buying cards that are, um, you know, you have to be quick on, you can't like look up and do the math and everything, or the card will be gone by then, which is something I did earlier this year on a prime law drip that went up for like 250,000 coins. So let's just go ahead and do one quick sweep of these icons. Now, here's the thing. I can do a sweep of these like 20 icons. It's a little bit more than 20, I'd say. Some of, something like, um, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 icons here, something like that. But I'm going to do a quick sweep of these icons. Um, we got Matthias. Um, his first one is uh, 91 rated. So we look at this uh, icon. We scroll to the 59th minute. Are there any deals right now? No, he's pretty much as still at 1.35 mil. That's fine. We go on to the next one. And we just keep doing this. But sometimes whenever these cards do end up popping up for a deal, it's a very, very good deal. Also 1.35 mil. So very normal price for him. And since I have this list of cards, I know exactly what I need to buy them for. So Patrick Vieira's 86 is next. He normally goes for a little bit over 1.3. So that right now, he's a little bit more expensive than he normally is. Van Nistelrooy is the next one. So Nistelrooy, and it's going to be his 92 rated card. It goes for a bit over 1.3 million coins. And that's normal prices. And normally, you're not going to find anything, guys. These cards are rare. They're not going to be listed up on the market for deals all the time. But if you stay consistent in looking up these cards' prices, you will notice that they will pop up every now and then for a nice 20K profit after tax. And that's big, honestly. 20K profit after tax is big. Even if you're having to spend 1.3 mil to do it, it's within an hour. It should sell. Sometimes it takes two hours. If it doesn't sell during the day, just list it overnight. And 95% of the times, it will sell. Next up, we got Bergkamp. 
We're just going to go down this list all the way through just once to give you guys an idea on exactly uh, what you need to do. You can't just search it one or two times and expect to get a 100,000 coin profit. You've got to be consistent with this. And the good news is that you can do this on your companion app. You can do this on the web app. You can do this wherever you want. Right here, we actually do have a decent deal on Cliver. Right there, 1.2 mil is not terrible. Now, I have him listed a little bit higher in price. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this card because I noticed that you know there are quite a few of them down closer to 1.2 mil. Not to say 1.2 mil is not, not, not a bad deal, but I don't think that's a deal to where I can make profit on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my display capture here and show you guys my Google Doc, and I'm going to take this Clivert, I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to move it down all the way down here so I know it's closer to 1.2 mil than 1.3 mil. So I know, again, it's way more organized than it would be on, um, you know, Footbin if I had to search it every single time. Um, plus, sometimes Footbin, you know, will register, you know, Balak at 1.4 million coins sometimes, yet I know he's less than 1.3 normally. So... Again, you can use Footbin to start off, to start getting to know these players, but it comes down to you knowing their price and what they sell for. If you find a cheap card like this card I just saw for Cliver, add it to your transfer target and don't let it go. Now, don't buy it. Don't buy it, but see if it gets bought. So you know that that card sells for 1.2 mil. So if you were to buy a card, you would know. It sells for 1.2 mil in the future, which is a great way to get to know the prices and honestly start to understand the icon market a little bit more. Next up, we're going to go ahead and search Baggio's 93-rated card, Roberto Baggio. Sad that he had such a great career, and then it was just known for his uh, penalty miss in 1994. That is uh, disappointing, because he really was one of the best midfielders of all time, but he's only going to be known for that one game. Uh, next up, Clarence Seedorf. Again, pretty normal price right now. We're right in the middle between 1.2 and 1.3 mil. George Best, I used him so much a couple years ago in FIFA 17, and then they took him out. For FIFA 18. All right, so George Best is pretty low in comparison to what I have him placed at because I'm just I was just using Footbin to make this list. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and take this George Best and I'm gonna adjust his price. So we're gonna take George Best 88, cut that out, and we're gonna go and place him right about here so we know exactly what his normal price is. So it's pretty simple like that. Right now he's going for 1.18. And since these are like the first few searches of these cards for me, I'm really gonna use these for the most part to get an idea on what they normally go for. That's the best thing for me to do. Now, if I do see a really good deal, obviously I'm still gonna buy it, but I know for a fact that uh, these cards aren't gonna be 100% accurate because it's just Footpin. Footpin doesn't update all the time. Sometimes Footpin's inaccurate. Um, Del Piero there, that's a pretty normal price for Del Piero. Petite's 90 rated card goes for about 1.2 mil on the dot. So let's see if there's any deals for him. Looks like he's up a lot in price. But here's the thing, guys. Petit, I know this card goes for 1.2 mil, right? I know it goes for 1.2 mil, but Footbin's going to tell me it goes for 1.35 mil. You understand where I'm coming from? I know it goes for less than that because I've been monitoring the price of the card. Clivert's going to be the last one I searched that's above uh, 1.2 mil, and it's going to be his 91 rated card this time. Um, and then I also have another Clivert on my list. Uh, actually, no, we already searched that, Cliver. Which one did I miss? Oh, I missed Gerard. That's the one I need to search. Steven Gerard, there's his 89 rated card. Should also go for a bit above 1.2 mil. So right there, we actually have a decent deal on Gerard. You can see how people will buy them for 1.169 mil. One just went up for 1.17 mil. Now, I know this card's going to sell, but since I you know, have him listed at about 1.2 mil on my list, I can buy that card and, yeah, sell it for 1.2 mil. And that's 30000 more than what I bought them for. But the 5% tax is actually going to make me lose coins. So you really got to find great deals on these. You can't just look for good deals because the tax on big cards, they're pretty, it's pretty hefty. So the good news is when you're searching these cards and they're up for like five minutes, a lot of the times they don't get bought within that five minutes. The good news is, uh, or the bad news is, the tax, the tax does does play a big part in the trading with these cards. Rivaldo's 90 rated goes for a little bit above 1.1 mil. Right now, he's got one for less than 1.1 mil. So we'll add that just to see if it gets bought. That's all I that's all I want to see. If it gets bought within that first hour, that's listed. And uh, if it doesn't get bought, then I can check the market and see if he undercut his old price. Nedved also, that's not a terrible deal. A little bit less than 1.1 mil. I want to see if that gets bought. 
within the six hours that's up. Now we're under 1.1 1. Uh, 1 mil. We've got the last couple of players that we're searching. Rude Hullet's 86 rated card goes for normally about 1.1 1. 1 million. Right now, that's about what he's going for. There is a bid with 10 hours remaining. Now, never place a bid. This is a quick tip. Never place a bid on a card that has more than six hours remaining. Never. Not even if it's up overnight and you're going to bed. Never place a bid on a card with that much time remaining. You don't know what's going to happen in that 10 hours. Plus, during that time, you might need those coins for another card, and they'll be stuck on that card. During that time, the card could drop below what previously you thought it went for. It could drop below what you bid on that card. I've seen it happen many times before. Now, I never make a mistake like that because, you know, I do make mistakes in the market, don't get me wrong, but that's a really dumb mistake to make, all right? That's just something that you should never be doing. All right, add to the transfer targets. And you can kind of see how all of these cards are in my range. And I like to trade with cards in my range because I know that I can't get any cards that are above the price of, you know, 1.2 million. But the 1.3 mil cards could be listed up for 1.2 mil. I could still make that profit. You know what I'm saying? So Luis Hernandez for 1.1 mil, a little bit less than 1.1 mil. That's a pretty normal price for him, actually. It's about what he goes for normally. We'll see if it sells in the 21 minutes, but it probably won't. And then the final one is the uh, Makalele's 90 rated card. And that's all the cards that are on my list. And I just searched through them once. I got to know their prices. And no good deals were really on the market. I wasn't able to pick up a deal. But honestly, it's probably only gonna, there's probably only going to be a deal, maybe one out of every 10 times you do that. But when there is a deal that pops up, it's a good deal deal that's the thing about it so we've got those icons added to our transfer targets and i've got some bids right now on uh some fitness cards but let me go ahead and show you guys what i got these for so i got a fitness card for 150 a fitness card for 400 and a fitness card for 750 coins so a nice little range there a really good deal on 150 and i also had another one for 150 i'm not sure where it went i also sniped a couple of the cards and sent it to my transfer list we're gonna get into our trading method of this episode guys so if this trading method ends up helping you out make sure to drop a like on the video so it's going to be revolving around fitness cards and they're very good to trade with now right now i only have nine of them because i just started and they're actually quite hard to get during the day but i've got about all of these and every single card is 750 or less i didn't spend over 750 coins on a single card and a lot of them you know about three of them i got for 200 coins or 150 coins so that's a lot of profit now let's go ahead and check what they actually go for um let's see what they actually sell for so we'll just go to gold we're going to go over to uh, Squad Fitness, and we're going to check their price. Now, to, egg, to get an actual accurate price, you'll set the max price at something random like $10 million. That's what I always do. And what you'll see is there's going to be a couple that pop up, but those are snipes, and they're going to be gone within a second, okay? But right now, the cards normally go for about 1,000 coins, 950 uh, possibly as well. So yeah, 950, they've been up for about four minutes, but they'll definitely sell for 950. No, so yeah, I could take the profit. You know, I could take the profit and sell them for 950 coins. But what you'll notice for squad fitness cards is that you can list these cards for much more than what they actually go for, and they'll still sell on the market to lazy buyers. You'll just have to wait 59 minutes to, for them to sell. You'll have to wait 59 minutes for them to sell. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these cards that I bought, and they actually tell me what I bought them for, which is awesome, so I can show you guys that. I'm going to list them up for, you know, let's go 20 1200 and 1100 we're just going to vary them between 1200 and 1100 and then at the end of this hour i'm going to show you guys which ones sell and a lot of you know a lot of times they won't all sell but i guarantee about 80 percent of these are going to sell to lazy buyers at the end of the hour even though they could go on the market and get them for a couple hundred coins cheaper i just listed that one a little bit too cheap but it'll you know it'll definitely sell um and these ones that i'm making a thousand coin profit on i got for 150 coins sell selling it on for 1100 coins that's like 600% profit. That's more than 600% profit. That's awesome. So I'll list all of them up. And then at the end of the hour, I want to go ahead and show you guys how many sell. And you guys can determine whether you want to do this trading method for yourself. And it works on any console, PC, PlayStation. Again, I, I've i been listing them a little bit quickly. So I list them a little bit cheap. They're a thousand on a couple of them. But that's still more than what they go for, actually. You know, that's still what the, more than what they go for. But they'll just sell a little bit quicker than the other ones. So that is the trading method we're going to go for. And we've got something that expired. Rivaldo for 1.1 mil just got bought. Now, he does go for 1.125 mil, so that's only 26K more. But it's important to just note that this card sells for at least 1.1 mil. So the next time I see a card go up on the market for 1,040,000 or less, I'll be making profit. I'm going to buy it 100% of the time. Okay, so to finish off the episode, we are going to buy one of these icons. I'm going to show you in a second. But within the first hour, guys, 
every single one of these cards sold. Every single one, whether it was up for 1,000 or up for 1,200, they all sold to lazy buyers when they got down to about one to two minutes remaining. So that's a great trading method. As long as you can get the cards, they will sell. And if they don't sell within the first hour, you can guarantee they'll sell eventually. Those things definitely sell, especially when you're going into the weekend league. Now, here's a card that's on my list, uh, Baggio. And he is pretty close to 1.3 mil on my list. Now, when I took a look... Uh, at his price over the course of the last couple of days. Let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I see. For Baggio, his card on Tuesday was chilling around 1.2 million coins on average. Yesterday, again, around 1.2 million coins. Today, 1.3, 1.3, 1.2, 1.2. And I see one up on the market right now for 1.1 million coins, which means I'm going to go ahead and take the risk. Let's see if we can get this to sell. We're going to go ahead and make a big buy right now. That's our first icon card that we have picked up this year, and it's going to be 93 rated Baggio. So I'm going to go ahead and list that card up on the market, guys, for about 1.2 million coins overnight, and uh, hopefully it will sell. And you'll guys, you guys will see that in the next episode. So if you want to see it sold, go ahead and check out the next episode. It might already be out depending on when you're watching this. That's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.